Hello. What I have for you today is a macro called a super blackout. A super blackout is just a blackout that performs a whole bunch of actions automatically all at once. So for instance, it takes all the fixtures to zero, it asserts that queue, it creates an intensity block in that queue, but then it also creates a second queue that then uh, takes all the fixtures to their home values, all except for focus, and it then it creates a normal block in that queue and also sets that queue up to be a mark queue. This is so that when I go back and make changes to my queue stack later, I can be ensured changes that I make do not track forward beyond where I want them to, but do track forward into the blackout so that I don't have any ugly gobo changes as the fixtures fade to zero. Let's take a look at how this is programmed. So we can see here we have our three queue stack and we're just gonna hit go through them. And they're nothing special, they're just some moving lights moving. Uh, we're gonna go to Q3. We can see that they are just in a cyan and that they're a little zoomed out. And we're going to hit our super blackout macro. That is going to be macro 2001. I'm just gonna type it out, but it's also located in the bottom left-hand corner here. And it's going to auto-generate two queues, Q4 and Q4.1. They've been labeled automatically and labeled with an asterisk to let me know that they were macro generated. So if we go back into Q3 and hit go, we can see that the blackout happened and that Q4.1 auto followed. Now, if we were to bring our fixtures up in Q4.1, we can see that they are in their home values all except for focus. So they're in a normal white color and they're also back at their home zoom. Let's record that into Q5, and while we're here, let's also make a couple other changes to Q5. Let's put them into this gobo and zoom them out a little bit. And we're gonna mark the fixtures and hit update. And then we're gonna to go to Q2, and we're gonna put them into the uh, same fixtures into a different gobo, no, a different gobo wheel, and we're gonna update that. So let's return now to our PSD and take a look at the changes we made. So in Q3, nothing changes, but in Q3 to Q4, we're gonna notice that the gobos do not change, but the fixtures still fade to zero. That's because of the intensity block. So if we hit go, the fixtures in fact went to zero. The gobo did not change. The gobo change happens now in Q4.1 because of how the super blackout is set up. And now if we were to hit go into Q5, we can see that that gobo change that we made in Q2 did not track forward to Q5, but it did track forward into the blackout, and that is exactly what we wanted. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a few variations to this macro. The one we worked with today was macro 2001, and that records to the next available slot. This is best when you're initially building a show, but if you need to input a custom queue, the next few macros all allow you to do that. Macro 2002 is a blind version of this queue so that you don't have to take light off stage in live in order to create your super blackout. Macro 2003 is exactly like 2001 except it allows you to input custom queues and Macro 2004 is exactly like 2002 except both queues are allowed to be custom. Macro 2005 is simply a variation of Macro 2001 except instead of selecting active, it selects the group of the queue and takes those out. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. The show file with all the macros included are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.